Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me in this basic Unreal Engine tutorial video that will show you how to create a material that has properties of invisibility or cloaking that you probably know very well from movies, TV shows and video games that have this sci-fi element. So in this tutorial, I will create a material that will then have parameters that make it something of a cloaking or invisibility material that you know for example from movies like Star Trek especially DS9 and other TV shows that feature cloaking the Klingon cloaking device of course or much more famously from the Predator series where the Predator has that ability to cloak its itself and to make itself invisible but not as the invisible man for example which is completely invisible but as a shimmering figure that still reflects some light while a lot of it simply passes through. So to get started first we're going to create a folder that we're going to call invisible and here we're going to create a material just a simple material that we're again going to call invisible. Now we're going to edit the same material. As you can see, this is the basic editing screen. We're going to dock it here. And first of all, we need to change the blend mode from opaque to translucent. That is the first step. As you can see, some of the aspects are now off, which is a good thing. And now we're going to add a single constant that is going to drive opacity to zero. We don't want to use opacity, instead we're going to use refraction to actually adjust and manipulate this cloaking or invisibility material. So we're going to add a constant which is going to be here. And we're going to connect it to opacity. Now we need to add another parameter here for refraction which is going to be a scalar parameter. Here it is. And we're going to connect it to refraction. We can also rename it to invisibility factor and it is going to be the primary and actually the only element we change to get the level of cloaking, the level of visibility you want to have for your material. Right now its default value is at 0 and we're going to move it to 0 0.5 and we're going to apply it and save it so we can actually see it in the game at this level. And now with all the save changes we can see the preview of this material but let's see it in the game. So I'm going to get this cube, I'm going to place the same invisibility material on it and here we are. We have that cube that is nearly perfectly reflecting the light around it but we're going to add or change the scalar parameter to see how it can behave a bit differently. We're going to go back, invisibility factor and put it at 1.3 for example. This is of course something that you can experiment with once you get your material. Again we're going to do the apply and save. And let's see it in the game it's reflecting a lot less or a lot more perfectly and we can see that if we add a different kind of an object and we're going to do that from the starter content we're going to choose a prop and we're going to choose for example a chair we're going to make it a bit bigger so it's better visible in the game and we're going to apply the same material. So back to the content, invisible material and let's place it on the chair and here you go. As you can see you still can see some edges reflecting some light at some angles while at other angles it looks nearly invisible which is the perfect cloaking device we want to get 
as that which was seen in the Predator series. So let's try the game and see it in action. And here it is, the chair is here, it's visible somewhat under some angles. Here is the cube as well and again some light passes through but at some angles some light is reflected making it a nice cloaking option. Of course again you can experiment further with your needs in the same parameter which is the refraction parameter. With it you can kind of tweak the ideal cloaking material you want to have in your game. So you saw it, it's really simple, it's really easy, only two nodes that are in the material itself and one node that is a parameter that you can then play with and edit to get the thing you're looking for. Hopefully you found this video useful and thank you so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like if you found the video nice, tidy and again useful. I have a lot of stuff that you can do and support me and my videos including checking out my book or sending me a buck or two through, through PayPal. And of course, thank you so much once again and don't forget, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Until my next video, bye bye.